Let's talk about some ignorant shit. Y'all, what's going on with Alvin? What's going on with Alvin? Listen, listen. Alvin has been on the tips of our tongues for the past, like, few weeks or so. Ever since Funky Dineva brought it to our attention. I, I'm not even, it's not even Funky Dineva. I saw Alvin with somebody and I was like, what are they doing with Alvin? Like, I know Alvin used to work for Trina and then Alvin started working for somebody else. Maybe it was Nene initially and I noticed that, but it was somebody where I was like, why are y'all hanging around Alvin's crooked ass? But either way, okay. Either way, y'all, I knew something was amiss. And remember we told y'all that when people of a certain tax bracket hang with people of another tax bracket, a lot of times there's a reason other than they like that person. Okay? And that's because they be a do-dirt nigga, okay? Or a do-dirt bitch, Okay? Or somebody that you can just have around to make you feel like you're cool because you're hanging out with a gay guy. <laughs> the Ninis and Tamars of the fucking world that always need to have another gay man around them and not, you know, any real female friends that will check them when they're out of pocket. I'm going to let that go. But anyway, Love & Hip Hop Miami star. Okay, Jasmine, we're going to let you have that one. Star. Alvin Kelly was arrested. The reality star and former assistant to rapper Trina. How are you a reality star when you were only an uh, assistant? I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. Child Alvin was arrested on Wednesday for allegedly partaking in sexual activities with a minor. Reportedly, Alvin was listed as wanted by the Miami Police Department for allegedly having sex with a minor. We were first introduced to Alvin Kelly on season one of Love and Hip Hop Miami when he was working as Trina's assistant. We later watched the two have a major falling out in the second season of the show and witnessed Trina firing Kelly. He also had a feud with Trina's cousin, Bobby Lights. We remember that. It was a lot of melee. Alvin Kelly has also worked with reality star Nene Leakes. The two have been spotted hanging out together on several occasions and we questioned why. As of now, Alvin Kelly is in police custody. No further information has been released on the matter. Alvin is giving Ray J T's. Alvin is giving Ray J T's. I don't know a lot of, you know, <laughs> listen. Alvin is giving Ray J T's. And I say that because everybody knows, well, not everybody knows, but everybody speculates that, you know, Ray J used to carry a little work in his book bag when he would hang with Whitney Houston. OK, he would ha handle, you know, he was just, you know, he was he was a go to. He was a go through type person. Alvin is giving a go to type person. So I'm wondering what's going on over there with Nene that this is the type of person that you befriended. What was going on? Because did he have like a lot of good style for you or something? Because <laughs> that's not what it's giving. It's not giving Alvin, you know, is. It's not giving that he's stylish, is what I'm saying. That's not what it's giving. So what was he there for? He's been known to steal, from what I understand. You know, if I, I might have stories mixed up, don't quote me on it. Allegedly, all of that. I'm feeling like he got caught in a situation where they 17 and lied and said 23. Mm, he was definitely a weird vibe on the show. As disturbing as this is, it's not surprising. We've heard stories like this before and it's sickening. What in the Gucci Masonic symbolism t-shirt is going on? Uh, shrink him up and be the listen, we're not going to go that far in the comments. Thank you, Saki. Y'all follow Saki on YouTube. She started her own YouTube page. Y'all follow her here. Show Saki some love for always coming through and moderating. Thank you. I found out that Ray J be banging with bloods, and I mean real blood. I tell, I, I, have, I have told y'all that. A lot of people think that because people come off as lame or, you know, you know, like Disney and all of that, Ray J can sometimes come off like the dirty Disney. You know what I'm saying? They're into fuck shit, obviously, but they always pop back up in your TV voice. You know what I'm saying? And people are always giving them a chance to make some money. You know, they're always hosting something where it's like, do y'all not know what this nigga does on the weekends at night? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I know that Ray J is involved, you know, bang, bang, Bisha and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to turn all of the C's into B's. OK, I, I'm, I'm understanding at this point. OK, 
All right. Um, so with that, like when I think about Alvin, I'm like, yeah, y'all got to pay attention sometimes to when people have friends around them and it's not adding up like this one. OK, now, I don't know what he did. You could be right. It could have been a teenager that lied about their age. Absolutely. It could be a situation where he actually knew how old they were. However, whatever, Alvin, you've been shake this whole time. We haven't thought that you were all the way right this whole time. And now this is the type of shit you're getting arrested for. This is the type of shit that you're getting arrested for. Woo, pray for him, Lord. Pray for him, Lord. Okay. <laughs> Affiliated with Suge Knight. Who's affiliated with Suge Knight? Ray J? That wouldn't surprise me. Okay? Because Ray J had to pretend like he was a kid when really Ray J was running around with some of the biggest gangsters in the business. Okay? And that's on real. Okay? That's 100. All right? Um, oh, okay, okay. Listen, whichever terrible... <laughs> I thought it was a like I ain't gonna lie. I thought I heard uh, like for real because who Snoop with? Who Snoop with? Charla, I can't keep track. I can't keep track of whatever you know, <laughs> whatever you know, ghetto country club you niggas are a part of because that's what I I really feel about a lot of these gangs at this point. Like a lot of you old niggas that's still involved in all of that. It's given we really want a country club, but nobody thought to make one. That's what it's given. It's given everybody wants membership into a nice place they can come to and play scraps and dominoes and have shootouts and shit with. Okay, okay, Snoop is a right, right, because, 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 yeah, okay, blue, blue, right, right, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. Exactly, that's why I was like, whatever uh, Snoop Dogg is. <laughs> Right, exactly. Okay, exactly. Listen, it don't even matter. It don't even matter. Y'all are in the comments going back and forth about what these people are, and it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Okay, they're involved in a ghetto country club, and it's just, you know, I just kind of feel like it's played at this point. I think it's played at this point. I mean, I'm not involved. That's y'all people business. If y'all view it like it's a motherfucking uh, fraternity, then just say that shit. Niggas be wanting to be in fraternities, but don't want to go to college. Like, I'm just starting, you know, like you old ass niggas that still be doing all that. Like, that's what I think of at this point. Y'all niggas just want to, y'all want to be able to have camaraderie with other like-minded individuals. They just say that, you know? It ain't always got to be bang, bang, kill, kill. Like, you know, everybody calm down. But yeah, we'll keep our eye on this story with Alvin because it's looking, you know, it's looking shit. All right.